I'm on the other side of this big pile watching for you. Thank you. I'm watching the T bar pile here first. So, oh, flies, go away. Andy insisted on walking up the front of the bus. I think it's gonna make it too high because it was level before. But that's okay because it'll just be more work for him later if I'm right, and it is. Too high. <laughs> I spent the better part of two hours watching this guy catch fish and toss them to the pelicans. It was very cool to watch, but I'm not really sure that's how you're supposed to catch and release the fish in that lake. And I'm pretty sure that feeding the pelicans, even if it's the fish you caught from the lake, is highly discouraged, if not actually illegal. So I don't recommend that you do it if you see pelicans where you're fishing. At least not in Colorado. And definitely not in state forest land. Little storms like these that roll through in just a matter of minutes and are always around you but not necessarily always on top of you are something you get very used to when you're working in the mountains.
I am so glad that Castiel got to explore the mountains. She loved it out there. Whether she was running down the road, jumping up trees, lounging on the beach, or following us on walks, she loved being outside there. Shut the front door. Probably be a good idea. Oh shit, that door broke. The storms here this year were absolutely amazing. The thunder and lightning was like always on show. Uh, I would not have wanted to be one of the sulfur crew kids. Um, spending two months in a tent does not seem like the best way to have gone, you know, through all that the stormy season um, but most of them I think didn't object most of them I think had a pretty good experience with their tents outside for two months and when I say most of them I am most definitely excluding curly hair because his tent was a fiasco I can't tell you how many times I asked Andy, should we offer him our tent? And Andy says, no, he has another tent. He just doesn't want to use it. So, <laughs> curly hair had uh, a lot of fun, I think. I think he liked the adventure of having a tent that got rained inside of, not just outside of.
beautiful today, but cloudy. Well, you can see behind me that it's blue. That's all just moving through. So hopefully that means that it's going to warm up pretty quick here. It's only like 53 degrees outside, but I think it's about eight o'clock, 815 maybe. So I'm just going down to the lake this morning before uh, I have to start working because I figure I'm going to enjoy the heck out of this place while I still have time. Um, I don't know when we'll be out of here this year, but it's August. <sighs> I don't know how it's August already. I don't know how it's August already, but it's August already. Maybe we'll see some ducks. Maybe we'll get lucky and a pelican or two will come by. That'd be kind of cool, especially if I can get their wing sounds on camera. They've flown over me while I've been paddle boarding in the morning by myself out on the lake. It is silent here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, they go overhead and I never have my hammer with me because I don't bring it with me. I'm not bringing it with me out there. I'm just enjoying being out on the lake in the silence. It is fantastic. You really should try it. Put your phone down, put your camera down, put your headphones away and just be. Oh, there's Merlin. Merlin, go home. Can you see him? That's Merlin. That's our friend Josh and Alicia's cat. He likes to pick on Castiel. He comes over to the bus and will go underneath the bus and wait for her. And she's got a couple of spots where she can get in and he will sit underneath them because he can't get in them and he will stop her from getting in them. He'll sit there and, and just just to bug her, just to pick on her. She does not like him very much at all. She just just sit and and like get this low growl in her throat. I'll have to see maybe maybe I'll be able to catch a video of it one, at one point in time. Whatever. But the water level at this reservoir has been going up and down lately. I mean, that's what a reservoir is supposed to do. But last week it was um, here, the grass, this was all underwater. The water was up to where those little aspens are coming at the bottom of the trail. And because we've gotten a lot of rain, you would think that it would be full of water. You can tell I'm walking. It's a... Uh, They've been letting it out because it's, we've been getting so much rain and we've had flood warnings up here for the last couple days. So they've been letting it out. Um, I think this is the lowest it's been since we got here. It was pretty low when we got here. Um, well, shortly after we got here, I want to say it was about here though. It was about here. And <laughs> Still a beautiful lake though. Lots of water, lots of paddle boarding. Oh, I think we have a duck. 